So I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Godfrey Bawiri, Head of the Division of Public Health Emergencies in the Ministry of Health in Uganda. Dr. Bawiri, Uganda conducted the third phase of a preventative OCV campaign in 2020. Can you tell us more about how the results from the first two phases inform the launch of a third phase? Thank you, Chair, and your team. Thank you, moderator, for the question. Honorable Minister, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen, warm greeting from our Minister of Health, Dr. Jen Russell Cheng, who is not able to join us today because of other agent state duties. However, the Minister and the government have a lot of interest in this dialogue which is going on today. Before I attempt to answer your question, moderator, I will give a brief overview of cholera in Uganda. The first outbreak of cholera occurred in 1970, and it followed the return of treatment uh, from Mecca. In subsequent years, the country reported bigger cholera outbreaks, sporadic cholera outbreak, until 1997, when we had a very big outbreak. From 1998 to 2015, Uganda annually reported the cholera outbreaks. And for the period 2011, 2015, an average of 1,850 cases were reported annually. This scenario indicated that measures instituted by the government were not comprehensive enough and cholera remained a big public health issue. Between 2013 and 2016, the Ministry of Health is working with several partners, including WHO, John Hopkins, Commission studies to guide development of comprehensive five-year national cholera strategic plan. Key findings of these studies included were the following. Cholera was a major problem in Uganda. Some communities were more vulnerable than others, and there were clear cholera hotspot areas. Actually, we had 11 districts which were cholera hotspots. Also, affected communities had low wash indicators and the, the other important thing to note from the study is that organisms responsible for the outbreak were related and were spreading from one district to another. In 2017, a new comprehensive national career plan was launched with participation of all key st stakeholders. And this plan was aligned to WHO roadmap for career elimination by 2030. WASH is one of the many components of our cholera plan. However, as a short-term and medium-term integrated use of oral cholera vaccine was agreed in 11 cholera hotspots, and this was emphasized. In early 2018, stakeholders meeting agreed to do this in three phases. The first phase targeted one district, which was contributing a lot of cholera cases. It had a population of 360,000, and this campaign was completed in 2018. May 2018. The second phase was then done. The number of targeted population was twice that one for the first phase, and it was completed in late 2019. In both the first and second phases, there was high acceptance and coverage. And since we did that, no outbreak has been reported in the targeted districts and the, the neighbors surrounding those districts. The third phase targeted 1 million persons. It was scheduled to take place in June 2020. However, due to COVID, it interfered with the planning, and we had to do third phase at, at the end of 2020. Since the completion of third phase, no cholera outbreak have occurred in this district, even in the period when outbreaks were expected. Like we could expect outbreaks in December during rainy season and in April. However, since we did those vaccinations, we have had no outbreaks in those districts. Back at your question, moderator, the good results in which no outbreak have occurred in vaccinated areas propelled the government to continue and complete the third phase. There is no cholera outbreak reported in Uganda currently. Uh, we are uh, in, in the month of May, would have had cholera outbreak uh, in April, 
according to previous trends, but we have had no outbreak. So the government currently is concentrating on COVID-19 response, and we are using WASH to strengthen cholera preparedness. A stakeholders meeting is planned next year, 2022, to develop the second plan for cholera that is aligned to 2030. While we have made major improvement to contain cholera, more could be achieved if all countries in the region were targeting the intervention. Also, cross-border outbreak, including outbreaks among the new refugees are still an important problem and the additional support from WHO in this regard will be required. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate that integrated use of oral cholera vaccines complement WASH is a good mid-term measure that should be widely promoted in cholera high-risk countries, including our neighbors. Finally, I sincerely thank the organizers of the forum, our partners, WHO, Global Task Force, John Hopkins University, UNICEF, and others for supporting us. Thank you, moderator. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Buere, um, for sharing your experiences.